Yeah, three mana sources, and then you can just pick whatever. Yeah, just get something in there, sure. Hey, thanks, Dakarai. Welcome back. I'm going to do the... Uh, Value indeed, friend. <laughs> All right. So I'm a few cards over on my list still, so I'm going to cut a few things and then... I thought I got a bunch of these. Did I not? Oh, right. We were thinking I would just load it up on my other thing. Yeah, could do that, I guess. How's everybody doing? Oh, Woody. You haven't said anything, but that's good because <laughs> I haven't turned on your, I haven't done this for you yet. All right, now you're a real boy. Hello. Hey, Judge of the Pharmacist of Variete. Oh, actually, you know what? I do this. Ugh. Under annoying. Schönen guten Morgen. Stay up late, get rewarded. That's how it works. Oops. <laughs> Adam's Adam's watching the stream. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Adam? Uh, what's up, Adam? How's it going? That's it. That's it. Sorry, I'm looking for lands to jam in this deck. I'm putting in a Cathedral of War. That seems good. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Uh, you should put in one of those, um, the one that makes Thopters. Oh yeah. What was that called again? Um, Doctor Foundry or whatever. No, no, the, you're talking about from Origins, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't called Doctor Foundry. I can't remember what it's called. Um, Legacy Cube's not up till tomorrow, after downtime. Hey, what's up, Hedge? I think we have more than three viewers. Well, I hope we do. Yeah, not that many more. Only the beautiful. Yeah, Foundry of the Consoles, Foundry, Foundry of the Console, whatever it's called. Does this, does this have Urza's Factory in it already? Urza's Factory? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Might as, might as well. Mize. What was the name of that land? I can't can't remember. Foundry of the Councils. Consuls. Yeah. Consuls. Foundry. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. So we got our land, so we got a jam. Uh, all right. <laughs> this is funny. I somehow stole a missing cards. I guess these are the ones I'll cut for now, though. They're like all the good ones against you. <laughs> all right, whatever. Hey, what's up, Doc? 
Looks like I came in just in time to uh, relieve Doc of his duties for the night. This deck using cranial plating already. It's got to be, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, because that's probably the best card in the deck, right? All right, whatever. I'm going to run a 102-card deck or something. I, I, I want to – the thing is I just don't really – I just want to get some – some start, you know, some start from somewhere type thing going here. You know what I mean? I just don't know. Like, I'm going to figure out a bunch of stuff to cut. And I've got a couple of little cross synergies going here, too, where I'm running Green Sun Zenith in the deck. And so I, I need to be able to figure out, okay, what can I actually Zenith for at different points during the, the course of the game? And then uh -huh. I'm, I'm also running um, Trinket Mage. So I got to figure out, well, what are the trinket mage targets I need to be able to search up? Like right now I've got top grindstone, which is part of my combo, Nile spell bomb and like a land. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to run a 101 card deck and just see if it, see if it works. Um, do you have your deck ready? Uh, I'm just putting like the last three cards into it. Okay. So what we're going to do, guys, um, for a little bit here is we're going to try out my, my Highlander build that I've got. Um, I'm totally open to suggestions if you guys want to uh, – no, not Commander. It's Highlander. Uh, if you guys want to uh, throw out ideas or whatever, we're, we're going to try it out. And uh, we're just going to see what the deck does. Like it's, it's supposed to be a combination of the cards and the strategies that I really like to play, but also by, while being still powerful and, you know, enough so that it can like – you know, beat a deck that, you know, I don't know, Randy has or something. It's got 101 cards, but I don't really care. I need to try out a whole bunch of different stuff to figure out what's what. Another card I want to try is Hanger Back. I will draft, maybe. The problem is there's no good formats right now. Like, there's just nothing I'm really excited to draft. Tomorrow there's cubes, so we'll be doing that, but... Okay, I'm adding one Dark Steel Axe. You can run as many cards as you want, Omni. In fact, for every hundred cards you get, seven more points. Oh, let me make sure I'm not just wrecking on points here. I forgot about that. All right, I've got Ancestral, Library of Alexandria. That's four already. Vampiric is five. Tainted Pact is six. Fabricate is seven. I think. Fabricate's one. Hey, Doc, what's up, man? You made it home okay? The man who never sleeps. Did you say you're ready, Woody? Uh, close. I'm. I'm just trying to figure out like a couple more cards to jam here. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I'm at seven it's, here. It, it's just tough because like of all the obvious cards, like they've already jammed. You know what I mean? So like. Yeah, I totally can link the rules for Canadian Highlander. So basically, if you if you guys haven't seen this before, it's uh, it's hundred card singleton vintage basically. Uh, but as you know, when you're playing a hundred card singleton, that changes the way that things play out in a pretty big way. Mainly that like vintage, you know, is all about trying to distill a deck all the way down to you know repeatable as as often as possible type scenario and. Here, you don't get to do that. Um, 100 card singleton means you're going to be drawing cards that are much clunkier and awkward than the rest. So Okay, I'm ready to go. Hey, Manny. Uh, all right, so let's... Uh... So I've got your video down, so just don't disclose your hand when we're playing. Okay, and you know what, man? I mean, I'm not... Y yeah. You know, whatever, right? Like, I just I want mean, to get some reps in with a, against the deck. Yeah, but I, I'll I'm be... Right. You know what I'm saying. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you're right. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, skill level? 
<laughs> just for fun. All right, fine. Watchers allowed. Sure, you guys can come watch the thing directly if you want. And then the deck is... Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, see if that challenge works. Okay. Um... <laughs> so hard, it's so hard to find your deck because of all the draft decks. Hey, Alex, what's up, man? Yeah, me too. This is fun. So, Alex, uh, it's uh, Vox Lunch in the in the chat. He's a huge Highlander guy. He's the one of the people that got me into it. Um, he lives up in uh, the home of Canadian Highlander Victoria, BC. And uh, he's kind of the one I've been asking a bunch of questions and stuff like that, too. Hey, Jimmy. Okay, let's see if I have the right amount of cards. Yep, 100. Yeah, I've got 101, but whatever. Well, this looks like a pretty good marsh hand here. Yeah, Alex, if you want to, you know, I, I found uh, here, I'll just show you, Alex. Um, I found this, or I guess it's this. Yeah, I found a tapped out. A list called Canadian Highlander Database that has, I don't know, 20 decks or something in it. And I pulled one of those for Woody. Um, I don't know if this is like, a, I don't know if this is a good place to grab decks from, but it seemed reasonable. So I did. But anyway, uh, sure. Taste it. So the two, so some of the things I'm trying to learn about my deck tonight. In fact, I'm going to write this down so that we can, we can learn it together, and then I, I'll I'll go. So first off is just any cards that just need to go, just uh, just need to go, or any of the pointed cards that I should switch. So points and cuts. The other thing I want to learn is I've got two different tutor package kind of things that I want to make sure that are are where I want them, which is trinket mage. You're click okay because I don't even know what I can get with this blue. Oh, I'm delta. sorry. Uh, here you <laughs> go. <laughs> Which is Trinket Mage and also Green Sun Zenith. So well, what I need to, to make sure is that I have, uh, you know, enough copies of, of different things to go be able to grab with it. Also, I'm running a Fabricate because I'm trying to have this deck be kind of a, you know, I guess, control-ish deck. Uh, I guess I should have uh, topped there, but Tops. whatever. Sorry, yeah. What's that? Uh, yeah, I was going to say it kind of skipped through your upkeep there. Yeah. Well, hey, I might have had a two-drop there, champ. Yeah. See, like, that's one thing I'm, I'm, I'm looking at is, uh, like, should I be running uh, Hanger Back with Trinket Mage, right? And I don't know. The problem is I, I haven't played this format enough to actually know. But I'm going to write that down. Sorry, I would. Uh, there we go. Pithy Needle naming top? You jerk. Who does that? I didn't build the list. That's a pretty good answer for top, though, yeah. So much value. It kind of gets around the whole jumpy, bouncy thing. Eh, yeah, I mean, I get to do it once. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, I think you might be right about the Trinket Mage uh, hanger back thing. The problem is, well, I wouldn't say it's a problem, but the thing to remember here is that we are talking about, slight, you know, t turn three and a half, turn four vintage here. We're, we're not talking about standard where you can play, uh, I mean, because hanger back's very slow, very, very slow card. So we got to remember that. And you jerk, you made me do this. Okay, so I should f focus on if my deck is more control or more tempo. Basically, what my idea was is that it's... I wanted to play the cards that I wanted to play. That's obvious. 
Um, but the thing that I wanted was I wanted to fit it fit within the shell of what I chose. Uh, raw power. So what I went for is painter grindstone combo. And my idea, you know, is to, is to do that. So I don't know. Maybe it's not a thing. I guess I just. Go old fashioned on you. Does it actually bounce or does it get sacked? For, no, it bounces. Yeah. Make it like my VRD deck. Yeah, that'd be kind of sweet. Yeah, I figured Painter Stone would be pretty good, right? Like, I thought it would be a thing that would be a, a fairly easy fallback plan and that I could include, um, you know, like a Trinket Mage to go get the Grindstone and then a bunch of other stuff. You know, these type of... I wanted a lot of crossover with it where it wasn't like a huge part of the deck. I, I didn't want it to be like some dedicated... Why am I just letting you do everything? I have a goddamn Force of Will. <laughs> I'm going to totally get you with it, too. Well, not anymore. Not with this uh, stone forge in play. Yeah, that's a good point. What did you get? Jitte? Neil plating. Oh, plating, sure. Do I have a Jitte in this deck? Fuck, I should have looked. I don't know. <laughs> I'd probably play one. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. our uh, set review tomorrow. We've actually recorded part of it, but not the whole thing yet, so we'll do more. All right, well, there's my trinket mage. Yeah, see, like, this is a great situation where I'm just like, I don't even know what I can really get with it. Uh, I know, I know one thing I can get and uh, I will just do that. I can go get a land. Yeah. You know, the funny part is, uh, here, let me time out, Woody. Um, okay. Alex, I want you to look at the deck really quick. So as you can see, like, let's put Tassiger down here. I'm not actually playing six drops. I have two of them. I don't know if they're like, I just wanted to put in two fat things because th the way I built the deck is quite controlling. So I figured I probably will need some big game ender. And these are both two of my favorite, you know, six mana game enders, but the deck isn't, as you can see, it's not really built to do that. I just happen to have two out of a hundred cards that, that, that fit that description. So I, I don't know. Oh, engineered explosives. That's a good one. What else did you say? Uh, top needle, needle, and then ring. Sure. Okay. And then I've also got what I've got right now. Yeah, soul ring is points, and I'm not running it currently. Uh, what I've got right now is spell bomb, grindstone, divining top, and then I've got a. Well, actually, we'll just go back to the game because that's what I'm going to search up for it. Uh, is a seat of the synod. I think I hopefully it made it in the in the deck. I had to trade for it or buy it or whatever. Yeah, there it is. I'll play that. Uh, do I bother playing the Sensei's Divining Top? Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything anyway. Yeah, it's gonna pass. Yeah, Time Vault. Lotus and Time Vault are super, super expensive. <laughs> yeah, I made that that desktop background, Alex. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. What I did is I took a Man of War that I had sitting here, and I went outside and I took a photograph of it. I literally just like photographed it with my good camera, and then I went in and <laughs> and uh, damn you. I mean, I'm gonna get you, but am I gonna be alive? I don't know. Yeah, see, like, I don't want to play cards like Villainous Wealth. That doesn't seem like the way to go for me. It that just seems super, super clunky. Like, the sixes are already kind of bothering me. Oh, I'm making you taste it here, Chief. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not actually paying much attention to our game. But I probably should be since you've got me down to six and I haven't even done anything to you yet. 
Um, I do have Pernicious Deed in here. I don't know how good it is. Alex, is, is Pernicious Deed good in the format? Like, I have no frame of reference other than having played two games while I was at the pre-release. So I'm like, not great. Deed is pretty great in control. All right. I, I think I want to be a little bit more co towards the control end of things. I, I mean, unless there's enough tempo creatures, because I really actually prefer a tempo deck. But like, do people want, run like... Wild Mongoose. Yeah, Toxic Deluge. I just haven't bought one yet. Green Life Gain spell. Which one is that? Feed the Clans? Hmm. I don't think I want to play Feed the Clans. Oh man, Yogi Berra died? Holy crap. I actually didn't even know that he was still alive, to be honest, but that's a super bummer. Brindle Boar? <laughs> It's pretty good, Nico. All right. Oh, um, one card I don't have in here as well, though I assume it's a mistake, is um, uh, Shackles, right? You just play Shackles in a deck that can support it, right? I, I don't know if this deck can. I haven't actually double-checked, but why am I countering Spine Thopter? Because it kills me. I'm not partial to dying. Okay, so Shackles is a card I need for sure then. Do you have enough islands to support Shackles? That I don't know, but I'm going to look into it. I might not because I, I've actually got one island, one actual island in the deck. Yeah, because you're, you're playing that tutor. I'm playing Tainted combo, Pact, so. yeah. yeah. Gush, I don't know. Should it be? I don't know. It's not on my list right now. Why does this one thing want me to pay green? You can pay blue or green, right? Right. Maybe I just did something wrong here. Oh, I see. I just misclicked. <laughs> uh, I keep screwing this thing up. There we go. Now we're doing it. Hey, what's up, iPhone? It's going great. Did a little uh, little modern Super League earlier, and now we're testing out a new deck, that a new format and deck for me. What'd you get him back? Verdant can I go? Yeah, I got back Verdant. Yeah, I can't do gifts. It's a full point. Birthing pod is pointed, and I think it's one point, but I don't think that it's something I'm going to be doing. Yeah, it's two points. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Alex. That's true. If I was more all in on the combo, but what I really want it to be incidental. Like I, th I think that's important. I want to be able to play the deck how I play the deck and then be able to either oops into the combo or tap into the combo if I if I feel like I you know I'm facing a deck where I need to just go over the top and and I can't just beat them with this you know sort of grindy two for one y type stuff. Well worth both points. How's the ape slayer doing, Efro? <laughs> She's still uh, caged up in that thing. What is this crap, Woody? What I just uh, oh, what did you get back? Vault, Vault, you got Vault Scourge back. All right. 
Efro with the six scouting, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, what's it called? What is this called? A Canadian Highlander. This is the, the new Highlander format that I've been trying to get people to play with me. It's really sweet. Is that a winter orb? Yeah. You bastard. Who does that? I don't know if this is actually that good for me, but. Well, if, if you saw my hand, you'd probably think it was Dece. <laughs> Well, the, uh, I'm just I'm hoping I can shut you off from interacting, but can I even? Let's see. Can I, I? I don't know if I can actually get away with not blocking with Volt Scourge here, right? No, I'm just gonna kill you, man. Because I can also Death Rite Shaman you, right? Yeah, yeah, you're super dead. Yeah, Death Rite Shaman was the part I didn't factor. Yeah, Ephro, why must you kill the apes? Oh, I miscounted. Eh, whatever. Eternal Witness getting back force. No, I'm just going to Mana Warrior Scourge. Oh, yeah, that should be good. Uh, there's no sideboarding in this format, so... Anyway, um... <laughs> uh, the lovely chat. I can't see chat, yeah, so. you're, <laughs> Don't worry, you're not missing anything. <laughs> Oh, man. I do not have days in the list. Yeah, constructed cube. That makes sense. Okay, here's the list. As it sits. But uh, this is kind of a first attempt, by the way. This is uh, not super well thought out. This was like jamming a bunch of the cards that I really like, a bunch of the cards that came to my mind, and then trying to get this combo put into the deck as well with some reasonable amount of ways to find it. Treasure Cruise is one point. I, I kind of want one in the deck because um, I am, like, I'm playing Cryptologist and Jace Friends Prodigy, so I figure I can, and I'm playing a decent amount of Cantrip, so I figure I can fill up the yard pretty good. But this deck's, like, pretty fun, man. I, I've only been kind of goldfishing around. I've got most of it built in real life, too, but it's sweet. I still don't know about these six drops though. Like I don't, I just don't know if this is like kind of a, a joke or if it's if it's something I even should be looking at here. Are you gonna submit? I'm I'm letting uh, I'm letting Alex take a look at the list. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Alex, you don't know me, buddy. <laughs> I'll lose some of it, but that that I am completely unwilling. He he just said he's he said my deck looks more controlling and he's totally right he's like so you can use some of the tempo stuff like mana war <laughs> little does he know <laughs> the only reason I want to play this deck or any deck is because I can put mana war in it let's see um <laughs> Efro's list got pointed out <laughs> that's great. <laughs> And he's quitting. You got good value out of the format, though. Recurring Nightmare is not pointed, Andy. I don't think. I'm going to double check, though. Yeah, no, it's not. You can Recurring Nightmare all you want. Is that good? Crack that misty rainforest. Yeah, food. Alex, does recurring nightmare see a lot of play in the format? It it might need to be in my deck. No. Oh wait, no, it's a one two because they broke Death Right Shaman for some stupid reason. Have you ever figured out why it has two toughness? Woody? Uh, sorry, say what? Have you ever figured out why Niall Spellbomb has two toughness? 
Nihil Spellbomb. I mean, sorry, um, Mortar po- uh, Death Rite Shaman. Oh, um, I may or may no. not have a Nihil Spellbomb in my hand. <laughs> Good evening. Who decides the point values? There's a, um, there's like a council, like they keep an eye on everything. Oh, look at you. So you're going to try to insole. That actually works. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. What were your other two cards? Court Homunculus, Dispatch, Two Lands. All right, so that means I'd probably just do this then. Hold on a sec, I gotta type something here. Gonna make you taste it here, Chief. Next turn. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> Awkward. This is what you get for F6ing, by the way. <laughs> As opposed to what? Just spewing value all over the place. You, I just dispatched your uh, well, death right shaman. I had all my land tapped. What do you want from me? I thought you... Oh. I, pay, I played oh, my okay, tomb yeah. tapped, yeah. You could have made a mana, but you don't have a one mana spell. Or whatever. Um, I was tapped out, Jimmy. I didn't have to be tapped out, but I chose to be tapped out. Let's see here. Well, I mean, I have six because I didn't have any mana. I don't know. Is that bad? Seems fine to me. Well, you can make a mana with uh, Death Rite Shaman. I don't know if you have anything to do with it. Yeah, that is true. I could have done something. I don't know if I would have. I guess I would have. Uh, let's see. Let's just draw a card. No, you're right, Jimmy. You're, you're totally right. I can. In fact, yeah, I, there's a Misty Rainforest right here I could have done that with. I don't know if I would have. I guess I probably would have. It's not getting much better than that. All right. What the f... Look at this guy. Brass man. Is that another name for PCP? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Love Boat. Bra- Brass Man. Bra- Ashy Larry. Brass Man. Glad Hog Lytle. Courtney Monculus. Motorpod. I ain't never done it, but you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was a bad draw. How does this work? I do it, and then if I pay... Yeah, okay. Is Nile Spellbomb... It's just better than... Uh, what's it called, right? Than... Than that land? Bajookabog? No, not than Bajookabog, because that comes in tap, so I, I was thinking I'm, I don't want to do that at all. Yeah. Uh, but instead of uh, Relic? Oh. Uh, um... Like... It was my it was my thinking that it was just better because it hits one person's graveyard and I like I'm playing, you know, Snapcaster Mage and uh maybe a Den Protector, though I don't have one in there right now. Yeah, Brass Man's not a great card, but it is a cheap artifact and uh, that's what this deck wants. Yeah, I'm not sure which one's better either, Alex. I, I I assume that it since I'm trying to use my graveyard, that Nile Spellbomb's better. I have black mana. I should have black mana all the time or whatever. Uh, sure. Yeah, you're doing it. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I don't think I want a Tormod's Crypt. Is 
Oh. I've never played this card before. Let's see how that goes. Dryad Arbor? No, not that one. I hate Dryad Arbor, but I'm trying to make sure that I get enough stuff with, uh, what's it called? Green Sun Zenith. I just hate Dryad Arbor as a card. I've never, I don't know, I just always find it like annoying and not awesome. Uh, do I just chump here? No, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, Tainted Pact is a point. Wow, you just traded those? Sweet. What, do you have a way to get it back or something? Oh, look well, at I'm you. Not, not getting that back. Oh, what are you, you're getting glint, whole glinty back? Yeah, it's better. Am I just going to move all in here? Yeah, I guess I do. I wonder if that's even just good enough. Just tapping you out. Maybe not. Let's see. Five. Well, I can get a lot of good stuff. Oh, well. You get seven points, friendless failure. All right, how does this thing actually work? Blue, and if I play to land, it's black. Okay. That's confusing, but kind of cool. Uh, I guess I just wait. So the turn it comes into play, it's always a dual land. Oh, good point. Well, no, uh, it's always oh, no, black. So it's always a black land, gotcha. Right, so it's black land, so like I can use it for... That's actually kind of interesting, right? So I play it on turn one, I can Thought Seize you. I play a land yeah. turn two, say go, and I can leave up like actual counterspell. So like you can you can just float blue with it before you play your land the next turn. Right, huh. like, like you always have, con you kind of have a lot of control. You just don't always have control over when it makes black. Yeah, right. Um, I think I, I don't know if I have links allowed in the chat or not. To be honest, you can try it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's do this. First time I've ever cast this spell. And I think I have an idea of what I want. Birds of Paradise? No. Can you see that, by the way, Woody? The exiled I card? I can. You can? Yeah. Counterspell, Grim Monolith, Muddle, Mall Drifter. Yep. Mm, that'd probably be pretty good, but is that one good? How many cards do I have left? Still enough. So I was thinking of just getting gravy train, but you have a flyer. So I think I think I want to just go get a Sphinx. Consecrated Sphinx. What do you think about that, Wood? Like, obviously, I don't know what your last card is, but that aside. Yeah, Sphinx is pretty good. Like, I get to play it probably on tap. It can block both of your things, and I get cards. Yeah, so, I better. That's what I was thinking of doing. Don't think your deck runs too much removal. Man, have you seen how much friggin' creeping tarp it is these days? In real life? Woody? Mm, no. He uh -oh. finally got his due. <laughs> The old tar pit is $21. So, Did you hear me? <laughs> yes, I did. $21. So I'm assuming if you're getting Sphinx, you have a land in hand. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. The problem is now I'm down to 40 cards. I guess that doesn't really matter too much, but there is a point at which I have to kind of bail on that plan. Like if it's in the bottom, you know, 10 or something, I don't know, I'm being in big trouble, right? Mm-hmm. 
Now that's interesting too. To take five, six, seven. Eh, this probably makes more sense. Oh, I exiled it. <laughs> uh, this is fine too, but <laughs> not what I was going for. I was going to go get a Thrag Tusk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody's like, it's exiled. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think the, the line was correct, but <laughs> it turns out we exiled 52 cards. So I have to remember. You know, it's funny that just the little differences between on life, online and not. <laughs> I just started banging through those things. Man, Predator's good against you, though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. No attack? Uh, I guess I just... Uh, I'm just not, not going to let you just bang into me with that thing. I don't know. You kill me pretty quick. You hit me for three. I can't kill the hover guard. Although you do know I have the Sphinx. I don't know. Should we gamble, kiddos? I think we gamble. Yeah, mind cards twist is no longer what? Card cards are still entering the exile zone on my side. Oh, the little things showing up, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, one time. Yes. <laughs> still had a target for it. So is that like your big finish? Or? Oh, whatever. Dispatch guy. Or path, sure. Oh, uh, no more basic. Yeah, I still had a basic. Is this good? Uh, it's lethal. Do I look like a man beaten by jicks? Oh, no. Academy ruins? Yeah, getting back Mortar Pod for the rest of this game seems pretty sweet. What do you mean getting it? But you have to kill it. How do you kill it? You have to kill it, buddy. <laughs> what? Because it's just going to kill you. If... Oh, yeah. Well, I will kill it. Do you have any... Th oh, that thing's a six? Dear God. Yeah. Uh, You're going to have to get pretty pernicious. Yeah, I have to hit a land here. I don't think I have one, though. Yeah, we bricked. Even if you did, I just shoot you down to one and then Academy ruins mortar pot at the top. Uh, but I would do this on your turn. So you wouldn't be able oh, to sure. draw it. I don't know if it wins me the game, though. Uh, let me see if I can do anything with this. I could have just looked there, but... Um, there's that, and then I die anyway. Is, um... Hey, Alex, do, do a lot of people play Sensei's Divining Top? Is that a real thing? I'm not a huge fan of the card generally. I just think it's okay, but I am running like basically all of the uh, fetch lands. It's so real. Okay, cool. All right. I, I figured you, I... You... Sorry, what were you going to say, Wood? I was going to say, do you think if... Sensei's Divining Top was unbanned and modern and we completely shut down the Lantern deck from functioning? No. I don't think it would completely shut it down. Like, they activate... You activate in response and can set up your draw. I mean, it would be good. That's pretty good. Yeah. 
I forgot I actually have a creeping tarpit in this list, even though I took it out of the the one I was doing on the other thing. Because I, I, I think it's pretty important I have all untapped lands. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. You can play unlimited basic lands, yeah. We'll see. Turn one library is sometimes GG, but the deck that we built for Woody is a is a blue white affinity list, and it's certainly capable of putting the beats down. This format, uh, Ulamog the Infinite Euro, <laughs> is uh, oh, what are you gonna name? Birds, right? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, nope. battlefield activated abilities. You can't choose lands, or what is it? can't use lands i could i check because i was going to do library but yeah but you can name just... the birds um this format is is highlander it's uh it uses uh the vintage card pool and it uses a point system to say which cards you can or which cards you can't play or limits how many of them you can play though every card in it is is le is legal uh, i guess i can prevent more than th one damage with my bob Eh, library's fine against Sagra. What is it? Is this a link that I should be muting? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Yeah, Dexterity cards are out. Uh, Sharazad's out. Any of the anti cards are out. But uh, Vintage Band list, that's right. But then they don't let you just play any of the Vintage cards that you want, though, because that gets a little bit stupid. Uh, if you if Because then, like, you feel compelled to buy you know, like every single mox and every single everything. And so they put a point system in place where you get to spend a certain amount of points on those things. And I think it works really well. Yeah, degenerate. Exactly. Yeah, Shahar Shahrazad is banned in everything. Let's see here. Yeah, I go for grindstone with tink with trinket mage. That's right. Yeah, Philos, I'm I'm trying to I'm you know, I've been kind of spreading it around to the coverage guys and to, you know, my friends and stuff about, you know, maybe trying to get a deck together cuz it seems like a really sweet format. The 
These are Surge's decks. Oh, sweet. See, I was looking for this stuff on uh, on Tapped Out. Great. Yes, this. this is great. Budget Lander? Oh, yeah. Oh, what, what are the... Hound? You got a Hound Horror and a couple of Constructs. Can just blow that thing up when I attack. Yeah, I'll just do this. So do that. Do that. That seems fine. Doesn't matter what color I name, right? Yeah, make a deck. Elantris. Make a deck. It's going to be sweet. Holy crap. Oh, you drew plating? I had plating. Oh, had it the whole time, huh? Yeah, I decided not to play it last turn. Never realized what a tough guy you were. So I block, I take six, eight, and then I win. Yay. Oh, that works. Well, you know, you saw what I got with the uh, Trinket Mage. Yeah, so you can't get away with not... Yeah, all right. Right? Let me do it, though. I want to make sure that I fully... Like, that there's nothing weird. I chump here. I take eight. I play grindstone. I activate it. That's the plan. All right. But I've never actually done it. Uh, and I don't have to do anything here, right? Like, it just... It'll just do this. So then this should put all your cards in. Zero. And then I pass. So I do have to keep in mind, though, uh, certain decks, right, are going to be able to kill me here. Like, you can untap. Like, you get your untap, your upkeep. You could, like, burn me. You could shrapnel blast me. Whatever. Yeah, I don't have any cards with, like, flashback or anything in my yard. Yeah, I mean, I got lazy here, but, like, I could have played a land and kept a blue mana source and a remand available. So I would have done that if we were playing for, you know, anything. Right. All right, let's battle again, and then we can do something else. Okay. I just want to get a few reps in with these things, you know? Academy oh, the combo roots definitely kills me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like that was the thing I, I didn't think about. D Balder points out in the chat that Academy Ruins would kill me there. Right? Right. You put yeah, a yeah. you put an artifact on top. Yeah, so maybe uh maybe a couple of uh a couple of like relic effects would be good. You know what I mean? Like maybe relic and Nihil Spellbound. You know what I mean? Mm. So you can Yeah, maybe. I, I'm assuming that one's enough. I have Fabricate and what's a cup what's it called? It searches it up too. Set review goes up tomorrow night for LR. to do this again? Didn't we just do this? 
No, that part stays the same. Uh, uh, Athena, ask um, ask Alex. He's Vox Lunch. He's our uh, resident Canadian Highlander expert in the chat. He'll know if if Hermit Druid is is good. I'm assuming it's great uh, because it's let's see, it's four points. <laughs> So, yes, I am going to go out on a limb and say that it's fantastic. Four points is, I, I think the only one worth more than that is Time Vault at five. So <laughs> another way to put it into, into perspective is that Black Lotus it carries the same number of points. So that card's probably very good. Yeah, stupid thing. I can play multiple artifacts, right? That's not an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my points in this list currently, though subject to change, um, are, uh, let's see, I've got three for Ancestral, one for Fabricate, one for Vampiric Tutor, uh, one for Library of Alexandria, and one for Tainted Pact. I think that's where it's at right now. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if this is smart or not, but blue because it's the best color. Yeah, no, this one's on seven points. It's pretty simple. It's one of the things I actually like about the way that they did it is that, you know, because tracking points is complicated and, and it's weird and it's a thing that you just kind of don't want to do, but it's actually okay. Like, it, it's not bad. Uh, it's seven points total. The list is this long. So, you know, there's there's a, you know, whatever, 25 cards on it. It's, it's not short, but it's like, I don't know. You can figure it out. Did you make that guy unblockable? Mm-hmm. Then I'll take it. What have you typed into chat? Elves and Modern looks sweet. I got to commentate it on the Modern Super League tonight, and I saw it at the GP as well, and the deck looks good. I'm impressed by it. Oh my god, did you just play Thopter 